what is up? Thank you for joining me. I know it's been a long time since you've heard my voice, but here we are. After about 400 hours in Starfield, I'm ready to show you guys some things. Starting with my grind. I am here on Schrodinger 3 in the Schrodinger star system. Cricks adjacent. And on this planet, as you could tell from all the carcasses laying about, this is how I grind for experience. Those little things there, which aren't so little, are good for about uh, these things. They're good for about a hundred points each on the higher level ones, and these are about a hundred and fifteen points each. So on my grind, I'll just pick a direction from my ship, and I'll just go in it. Things like that. But don't get caught slipping, because these things like to flank. Get him with my with my boost pack, which is a good bonus. I didn't think that I would be using that ability, but with these things, since they like to swarm or flock, as they're ten as they're called, uh, you'll be engaging a, a group of them in front of you, and one will break off and try to flank you. I swear the AI in this game is so intelligent. Far more intelligent than NPCs or even followers like this one, who I married before I was New Game Plus and regretted every moment of it. So now I'm starborn and I'm here running through these planets trying to level up. Now I've banked four, uh, four level ups. So we'll do that also in this video. But uh, here's my money grind, my new money grind. So this is my outpost. I've got outpost building fully leveled up. So I could put all the the modules and whatever there but this is my grind right here so you go into build mode right and you find yourself some uh, weapons cases which take titanium and polymer to create um, I just did a bunch of pistols so I'm gonna do rifles and you just stack these up as high as they can go for as much build requirements as you can and just stack them all the way to the top exit save your game and I'm sinking so you save your game And then you go right back in and you load the game that you saved. What this will do is will fill all of these cases. Now if your difficulty is on very hard and you're a higher level, I'm not sure I'm not exactly sure how much the level plays into this, but if you're playing on very hard, then all you have a more chance of getting legendary weapons in these cases. All right, so here we go. And what you're going to do is you're going to 
delete the bottom case all right so all of that is sent to your ship inventory now my ship inventory is woefully full so a lot of that just went into my personal inventory so we'll check it out we'll see what guns we got 20 new items in here okay we've got one rare weapon and one space adept weapon let's go into our ship inventory and see what we got in here okay we got a tesla refined equinox double damage to targets with little health plus 15 damage while aiming and tesla rounds will sometimes emit electricity when they land where they land the damages and slows nearby targets okay so that's a good one hitman tombstone so all the rest of these I'm going to sell right now the gambit for selling which I'm gonna go through right now and show you I'm not gonna travel and do all the selling right now cuz that'll be a very tedious video so what I do is my first stop is Seoul and I go to Mars and I go to the Trade Authority in Sidonia. Then I leave from there and I go to Wolf. And then I go to the Den in Wolf. And the next thing I do is I go to Jemison. Jemison is a good one because they have a lot of vendors in Jemison. In fact, you can go to Jemison and Neon and clean up in just those two places alone just because of the volume of vendors that you have there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run up in here. Decorated it a little something something. Give it a more homely feel. So I come in here. I think I should make another another chest. I'm gonna make another chest real quick. Uh, just so I can get rid of. Oh man, I'm missing structural. I can't build nothing. I'm heavily laden with these weapons now, and I can't do anything about it. Let's see how much I could throw in here from the inventory. In this case, what I have is um, the base, one of each advanced weapon. So I'll know for reference when I come back that I'll take that out, take the duplicates out and put them back on the ship and sell them. So then I go to all those places and I sell the stuff. And then I come back here and on this planet a uh, 24 hour wait is 50 hours in universal time so I don't necessarily find the need to go all the way to Venus to do my resting and this is my ship the aphid let's check out the aphid one of my favorite ships that I've built I've got the aphid Starborn Guardian, which is underpowered at this point. I got the Jackknife. This is the first ship that I built from scratch in New Game Plus. I had several ships in the before I ascended. This is the Wasp. I might change it to the Toad. It was called the Wasp because of the previous iteration and I went in since and I upgraded it. And uh, the next one is the Scarab. In honor of the creatures that I mercilessly put down on this planet. The 
Next ship is the Razor Leaf. Slightly modified from the original version. Uh, you get during the Mantis quest line. And if you haven't done Mantis yet, check out one of my previous videos. I did a complete walkthrough of Mantis. And this is the Star Eagle that I got for completing the uh, Free Star Rangers quest line. And this right here, this is a giant brig. This is a jail. It's taking up more than twenty percent of the ship's total volume. But yeah, this ship is OP. I think maybe in the next video we'll build a ship together. I didn't source a ship, so I don't have any ships to build. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take you and show you what this ship can do real. Quick. Huh? Give a quick tour. This is a gigantic mess hall, which includes the kitchen, which leads right out to the landing bay. I guess this is the pantry. Then we come through here. This is also part of the mess, mess hall. I guess this is a dining hall or a conference room. And off to this side, I've got uh, living quarters. Oh no, this is an all-in-one. This is a three-by-one all-in-one, which has basic amenities. You don't need to put a, a anywhere else for a bed, because this will give you the bed that you need. And chairs also, but you get the bonus in the bed, the 10% bonus to XP. Um, this is my infirmary, where I would get the pharmaceutical lab. And uh, over here is my workshop, where you have all the rest of the stuff. Downstairs in the mess hall is the cooking station. So I have all the workstations here in the ship. And then this battle station here gives me the crew position so I can have uh, six people on this ship, six crew members on this ship. And this is living quarters, I believe. Yeah, these are living quarters. Or maybe it's an all-in-one, I'm not sure. I think this is living quarters. Then we've got the Dimos Bridge, which is one of the first to make you feel like you're on an actual spaceship. It's got the jump seats where the crew is supposed to sit when we make uh, interstellar travel the grab jumps probably when we take off from the planets but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go to the Serpentis star system and dare some Varun to come and try us but I will take off from here just in case there is some lifting off now some spacers or some uh, crimson fleet in the area before we jump to Serpentis because I have another outpost on Serpentis. Uh, the planet I believe is Serpentis 4. And this is a ship that's been it's idle so I can't I can't hail it. I'm sure there's a mission on there but I haven't done the mission yet. I've tried to destroy the ship to no avail, but maybe in another video we'll search up that ship. So we're going to Serpentis, we're going to set the course and just jump to Serpentis. And when you do that, I believe you go directly to the most habitable planet. So here we go. Serpentis has the best chance of spawning in enemies. Enemy ships are rampant in this star system. Oh, there they are. I was about to jump out. Here we go. Okay, we 
want to take out his engines. And my ship is just attacking him mercilessly. Alright, let's fly past him and then come back around. And we destroyed him completely. I think my weapons are too strong at this point for there to be any chance of me, uh, my cargo hull is full, I can't pick any of that up. Uh, my weapons are too OP for there to be any chance of me just destroying the engines and docking with this ship. So this is a ship purely for malicious combat. Verun Prophecy. Did very little hull damage. And I believe I had some repairs to do before I jumped into this system. But yeah. Just a quick run through of some of the stuff I do. And I'm going to get more in detailed and hopefully more entertaining for you guys in the next upcoming videos. I almost forgot the skill points. Let's see where I'm going to put them. At this at this point right here, I have an idea of where I'm going to put one of them. Cuz I do want to do more outpost building, so outpost engineering will master that. Um I have one bank for rifle certification. I want to reload rifles 30% faster. I find that I use rifles a lot. So we're going to bank that. And uh, the rest are kind of up in the air, but I do want to put one into this boost pack because as you can see at the bottom, the bottom two are far better than the top two and way more practical because like, before I knew it was a perk, I would have never thought of using the exhaust of my boost pack to, as a weapon. But the final one here, rank four, while hovering, time slows down, the world moves 70% slower around you. Yeah, I want that. Um, and I was thinking gastronomy because I wanna start cooking things. Or gymnastics, but I don't have enough for gymnastics. Wellness. Like, this is what it is. Like, you never really know what to throw your stuff into. Hmm. Leave a comment on what you would put your points into at this point, considering everything that I have. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something socially related, perhaps. I can't do the ship command and level up my crew yet. Um, um, I have I have no idea where to place this skill point. I have no idea. Spacesuit design? No, I haven't quite gotten there yet. Medicine. I find that that's not completely necessary. Oh, I really don't know. Planetary habitation. Oh, okay. I think I might do this. So I could build an outpost on Venus. Yep, that's it. I'd like to build on extreme on an, on an extreme planet. Hey there, how's it going? So yeah. Let's look at that view. I don't know, a lot of people have been hating on the game and just full disclosure, I'm a Bethesda fanboy. My two favorite games of all time that aren't racing games are Skyrim and Fallout 4. 
and this is coming in a very close third with the with the amount of stuff you can do you know I'll grind for an hour go get into a shootout for another hour build a post for an hour build ships for an hour and by hour I mean all day I could I, I don't get bored playing this game because there's so much stuff to do and in this new game plus I haven't even completed many missions like now I'm more about doing a lot of the peripheral stuff, building outposts and etc. So if you want tours of the other ships or the outposts, etc., just let me know in the comments section.